I'm disgusted with myself. I have entirely too much color. The Tower of Terror sounds fun. Done. Come on, Carly, it's time for breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. What's so good about it? Uh, you woke up and you're alive, but uh, <laughs> what's with the costume? I'm a homicidal maniac. They look just like everybody else. Hmm. Okay. You want some breakfast? Why don't you come have some breakfast? And here, I got you some cereal. Are you playing with your food? Is it alive? No. Then no. Can you pass the salt? No. Go get it yourself. Rude. What's gotten into you? Hello? What's gotten into you today? Is this the teenage years? The teenage years? I'm gonna tell your father about this. You know, since you're gonna be so grumpy, why don't you go and clean your room? And go be grumpy by yourself in your room. I, I will clean my room if, in exchange I can have your immortal soul. What? Um, sure? I don't even know what that means. Okay. Sell my soul to get a clean room.
My guillotine was much faster. How's it going in here? Uh, my guillotine was much faster. You cut the heads off your dolls? I said my guillotine was much faster. You're too young for a guillotine. It's in the secret basement. We don't have a secret basement. Or so you thought. What? What is, is this like a emo girl face? No. I told you, I'm dressed up as a homicidal maniac. I believe that. But you're not supposed, you're supposed to like play with things, not cut their heads off. Oh, so now I understand, this is a children's prison. This isn't a prison, look at this room. You have a beautiful room. How could you even think it was like a prison, Carly? Careful. There's a spider over there. A spider is a girl's best friend. I think it's time to call the doctor! That was fun while well, it lasted. There's going to be something in here. Cheer her up. Girl Scout cookies. These are her favorites. This might snap her out of this. Here, I brought you something that might cheer you up. How about some Girl Scout cookies? Are they I made from real Girl Scouts? No, they're not made from real, they're made from chocolate and peanut butter deliciousness. Uh, is the deliciousness Girl Scouts? No. These aren't made out of people. They're called Girl Scout cookies because the Girl Scouts Were those the people them. on the back that were made into the cookies? No, there's no people in these cookies. That's no fun. You mean, that's deliciousness. Look at life skills, yeah, I think that's delicious. friendship, The only kindness. thing that's delicious is human flesh. Are you feeling okay? Do, we have, do you have COVID again? Thing, get over here! What is that? Loki! Hi, Loki boy! Something's wrong with your sister here. I know. You don't want to hear about it. I know. Have you been seeing what she's been doing? She cut the heads off her dolls. I know, it's crazy. What should we do with her? Are you up to the job of cheering her up? Loki, come on. Loki, I will give you a nice treat if you can snap her out of this. She loves you. She loves you. How about you have her take you, or I'm gonna have her take you for a walk and hopefully she'll snap out of this. What do you think? You wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Walk? Come on, Loki. Come on. Come on. Come on, Loki. Come on. Come on. Wanna go for a walk? You like walks. There we go. Hey, Carly. Yes. What are you doing there? I'm just staring at the wall wondering how worse my life can get. What do you mean? You have a good life. Anyways, can you take the dog for a walk? Will do. Thank you. What did you do? To Loki? I took him to a taxidermist. You took a dog to a taxidermist? Loki? 
At least Nappy won't bark or have to go to the bathroom again. It's our dog. That's what dogs do. I have to fix this. Okay, I know how to fix this. We're gonna have a little mini therapy session. So I'll start, and I figured you'd like this little zombie guy, Jeff, and we're gonna use him to act out our feelings. For example, I'll start. Your mom doesn't like it when you're mean to her. It hurts her feelings, and she wishes you would just tell her what's wrong. You are like my social emotional teacher, but worse. Now see, I use Jeffy to express my emotions without telling you directly. Emotions are stupid, so I suppress them. Why don't you give it a shot? And you can explain to me what's going on. I don't like it when you talk to me. When he, when I talk to you, Jeffy, you might have to tell Carly that I'm her mother. Of course I'm going to talk to her. She also doesn't like it when you look at her. So, Jeffy, would she like me to never look at her or talk to her again? Very much so. This is stupid. Well, at least I know that you don't want me to talk to you or look at you again. Then why are you still talking to me? And why are you still looking at me? Why are you still looking at me? Give me that thing. <clears throat> Jeffy says go to your room, you're grounded. Until you respect your mother. I guess I'll come out when I'm dead. Okay, that was kind of a burn, not gonna lie. I've got an idea, I know what to do. I think if I tell her, and I don't mean this at all, but I think if I tell her that if she can't talk to me or look at me, then she's gonna have to find somewhere else to live. I don't mean it, but I think this will change her attitude. Cause she doesn't have anywhere else to go. Okay, Carly, you know what? My name is Wednesday. You're not Wednesday. All right, Carly. Joe, if you're not gonna talk to me, and you, if you don't want me to talk to you, and you don't want me to look at you. You don't have to finish your sentence. You have to leave. Gladly. What do you mean? Gladly. You're not gonna leave. Bet. You're gonna find a new place to live? I will travel to New Jersey. What's in New Jersey? We don't even know anybody in New Jersey. Okay, well, if you're not going to be respectful, then you have to leave. I've been waiting for the invitation. I think that back for you. Mother! Yeah? I am all ready. Did you change your mind? I Having am, a second thought? I am all ready. About going out in the rain? I am all ready. What are you bringing? I'm bringing my earphones. I'm bringing my doll heads. And that's all you need to live. Headphones with nothing to listen to in them. I don't want to sell them. Okay. What are the earphones for if you don't want a cell phone? So I don't have to listen to you calling to me. And doll huts. What will you do for food? What about money? I will steal. Steal? Well, then you're going to get arrested and go to jail, and I'm not going to bail you out. You can sit in jail. My life is like a prison anyways. It couldn't be any worse. Goodbye. Good riddance. Hey, you forgot about your thing. Come on, thing.